Good day and welcome to Inside Cottonwood. I'm your host today, Richard Faust, Community Services General Manager for the City of Cottonwood. Um, we're going to be bringing a um, uh, really um, uh, interesting program to you today. Um, it's Toys for Tots. It's, it's uh, Christmas time in the city and in, throughout the Verde Valley. So uh, we wanted to welcome everybody, but we're going to be going through some things here as to how Toys for Tots actually works, uh, some of the inner workings, kind of like as we go through Santa's workshop. Um, we're going to be discussing some of those things. Um, we're very, very fortunate to have both Keith Vogler, who is, um, uh, he and his wife uh, have been stalwart in, in doing so much for Toys for Tots, as well as uh, Troy um, Hoke, who also is captain of the, uh, the Cottonwood Fire Department. Uh, Keith is also um, a Marine Corps League representative, and Keith represents also a lot as it pertains to the um, the military service park and which the uh, directions we're going um, as we uh, we look forward to a new military service park at um, the um, Garrison Park facility here in Cottonwood. So it's always good to work with you. It's always good to see your face, Troy. You're the same way. We we, we work right across the street from one another, but we see each other maybe once every couple two three months. Maybe that's a good thing for both of us. So, um, you know, but uh, we want to we want to kind of go through some things. But I wanted wanted to also identify seeing that we're in December and uh, there's so many things going on. And and you at home, if you've got a piece of paper, um, you might want to write some of these things down because um, we've got more this year going on than we've ever had before. So as we prepare for the holidays. Um, we've got a full schedule to share, and so I'm going to go through some of these things. Um, uh, ongoing through December 13th, uh, we will be um, having the Cottonwood Youth Advisory Committee Angel Tree at the Cottonwood Recreation Center, and registration is at the front desk at the rec center, and uh, you have to bring unwrapped gifts uh, to young children in need by being an angel to uh, those who are less fortunate. And so if you want to be a part of that program also, along with Toys for Tots, you can do both. You can do one. We would encourage you to do Toys for Tots, but we also have our Angel Tree program with our Cottonwood Youth Advisory Committee. And it's a great program. And, and there's so many kids out there that are in need, and we'll be discussing a little bit more of that today too. Um, also remember that registration is ongoing uh, from December 1st through January 4th for the Looking Good Cottonwood uh, program for a healthier lifestyle and a healthier you. Um, making it through the holidays is a rough go. I gained about six pounds this uh, last Thanksgiving, so um, I should probably be a part of my own program here. Um, but I wanted to make sure that uh, program dates for you are uh, January 6th through April 6th, 2016. It's right around the corner. Grand prize is $1,000 with runner-up prizes of $500 and $200 for both the men, uh, men's and the women's categories. So it's pretty amazing that uh, we have the sponsorship of the, um, uh, the Verde Valley Medical Center and everything that they do. Um, December 5th is the 22nd annual Chocolate Lovers Walk in Old Town, brought to you by the Old Town Association, and tickets will be on sale at the Cottonwood Civic Center beginning at 3 o'clock p.m. Um, also on December 5th is the 61st annual Cottonwood Parade, which starts at 11 o'clock a.m. at the Verde Valley Fairgrounds and follows Main Street through Old Town. Um, and uh, I know we'll see Troy there also, as uh, he's also going to be there with the Cottonwood Fire Department. They're always uh, in line as I wave to them all, and they give me such a hard time. They throw candy at me. Um, and uh, so this year's theme uh, for the uh, the Cottonwood Parade is Cindy Lou of the Doctor uh, uh, the Doctor Seuss Classic Christmas uh, book. And if you have any questions, please contact uh, the Cottonwood Chamber of Commerce at six three four seven five nine three. Um, also, December 5th, we're having the Cottonwood Christmas Tree Lighting Ceremony at the Cottonwood Civic Center. And that'll be at 6 o'clock p.m. along with all of the magical musical electronic displays at uh, uh, each night throughout Old Town from tonight all the way through to, I think, the, um, uh, the first week of January. So if you haven't been down to Old Town uh, recently, go down at night, uh, enjoy a dinner, 
and uh, take in the light display and the music displays because it's really pretty amazing. December 6th is the Cottonwood Community Band. Uh, it's their winter concert series at the Cottonwood Recreation Center. And I don't have a time here, so call the Cottonwood Recreation Center at 639-3200 and get some information there. Santa Claus is coming and uh, to the Cottonwood Recreation Center Thursday, December 17th and Friday, December 18th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. for kids who want their picture taken with Santa. And costs are $4 for the first child, $3 for the second child, and photos would be available then at the rec center on December 22nd. So you can pick those up at the front desk. Uh, the Cottonwood Youth Center in Old Town will be having their winter break program uh, for kids to keep them busy for, you know, parents are shopping or they're always either going someplace or doing something or going to a party or whatever, but we're there to keep you busy or your kids busy from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. on December 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 28th, 29th, and the 30th, and then along with Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve uh, till 5 o'clock p.m. instead of the 6 o'clock hour. Uh, and that'll be $100 for all six days or 55 for three days or 20 for each single day. Also, youth basketball program will be taking place at the Recreation Center Gym uh, starting December 1st through December 18th and uh, with games starting January 4th through February 26th. So it's crazy out there. And in final, uh, we have the, um, the, the Christmas Seasons Toys for Tots program. And, and um, at our Recreation Center for facility, we're extremely fortunate and blessed to have it there. Um, uh, council uh, saw fit five years ago to build a facility, and we've had a huge gymnasium whereby you know, we can spread the gifts all over the place. But uh, things start up on December 18th at about 8 o'clock a.m. in the morning, and you can see pictures there on, the, uh, on your screen as to you know, how the setup is. The mayor is there. Uh, there's Troy and all of the bicycles. Um, all of these things uh, start up early in the morning, and it goes until 6 o'clock p.m., um, in order for presents to be delivered and given to special families and children in need in Cottonwood. And so th this program is incredible. I, I've, I've done my research on it and I look at it on a nationwide basis and I just cannot believe the amount of uh, impact that the Marine Corps does uh, for those um, in need throughout the United States. Um, you know, I, I think that I wanted to ask you both, both uh, uh, Troy and Keith. I, Keith, uh, tell us what the Toys for Tots program is and why it rep is represented by, um, of all people, the United States Marine Corps Reserve. Well, the Marine Corps Reserve, I think in 1947, roughly, the Marine Corps, a uh, colonel, I think it was in the Marine Corps Reserve, uh, encountered a family that needed toys. And he got some Marines together, reservists, Marine Corps Reserve individuals together and at that time, and they, and they collected some toys, and it was relatively small, and uh, then they gave those toys out. And this was in California, probably around El Toro. Um, and then it's just grown from there, and now, I mean, it's worldwide. So it, there's, and it's in every, every state in the Union, uh, Mexico, Puerto Rico, wherever you, Guam, wherever you want to go, just about there's Toys for Tots unit. Uh, and it's huge. So the Marine Corps um, Reserve has basically picked this up then and has moved forward with it. And there's 34,000 active Marine Corps reservists, correct? Roughly, yeah. Roughly, yeah. yeah. And so uh, this is just some of what they do. That's um, correct. And um, I, th I think it's an awesome thing. I one thing I wanted to to make sure of, and I'll um, I'll go through that here at the, the start of the um, at second or the, the beginning of the the second series here that we go through before uh, right after break time. But I wanted to go through what. Um, the collections go to and what the donations go to. Um, now, Captain uh, Troy, uh, you're with us here today from the fire department. Why does the fire department get involved in, and how do you assist with this program? Uh, the fire department gets involved primarily because it's an event that's in our community that's caring for the community, and I think that's the foundation of what the fire department is. Uh, if you're a firefighter, you got into it because you wanted to help people um, in their time of need. And, and this is a time of need. You know, if you don't have money to buy gifts, then we're giving. So it's it's assisting the community in a different atmosphere instead of just when you have an emergency. And that's what we always try to do. If there's a program out there that we can assist with, that's what we're here for. In a time of need or, or where you don't think it's an emergency, we still want to be there to help. 
And then uh, I was just fortunate enough to meet Keith and Chris in 2004 when they first started it. And uh, uh, <clears throat> we've just been able to partner up and provide a good service for the community. All right. Well, I, um, I want to get in more of that with both of you here um, in the second segment. And um, uh, we're going to take a break right now. And um, you can just come right back with us. Um, I'm your host today for Inside Cottonwood, Richard Faust, Community Services General Manager for the City of Cottonwood. of a family member can lead to plenty of questions. Fortunately, there's a place to get the answers for them and for you. Find articles, tips, and tools from experts and others who have been in your place. The Caregiving Resource Center at aarp.org slash caregiving. Hello and welcome back to Inside Cottonwood for our, our second segment of Inside Cottonwood. Um, I'm your host, Richard Faust, Community Services General Manager for the City of Cottonwood. Uh, I'm really fortunate to have uh, with us today Keith Vogler with the, uh, uh, the Marine Corps League and is a representative of the Marine Corps Reserve uh, in the context of Toys for Tots and then also Troy Hoke with the, uh, the uh, Cottonwood Fire Department. He's one of our captains and they do an incredible job and uh, right before we sh uh, close things down for our first segment on break time, um, I just want to take some time just real quick just to mention the Cottonwood Fire Department and how, um, uh, you know, how blessed we are to have you guys. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, it's just an incredible program that we have in Cottonwood. Um, you guys respond to everything. And I mean, not just fires and things of that nature, but you guys have a program where you set up specifically for, um, uh, you know, seats uh, for car seats and a car seat program. Uh, you guys do everything for uh, fire detection systems in homes. Um, and um, you, you help with those when people can't afford those. Um, you guys come into homes and you do things for people. I mean, you guys are a real blessing in our community. And I just wanted to take time to thank you and the guys that are sitting next door ready and willing and waiting for something to take place. God forbid anything does, but um, they are there to help out and man, they go they go quick. So it's really a, a, a pleasure to have you here with us today. Well, thank you. As you're a representative of all of the other guys also as a captain. So um, if you're like me, we're kind of grunts. And so we also <laughs> help out. We do an awful lot in that respect, but thank you again for all of your service. And uh, Keith, I thank you. I might add too that. Go ahead. Uh, I might add that. Uh, Without the, without the fire department, we wouldn't we wouldn't be able to do a lot of what we do right now. That's I mean, very they true. They put bikes together, they bag the toys. These guys do an amazing job. Well, we saw some of those there. pictures yeah, that really good. they really do a good job. There's how many bikes did you guys put together last year? Oh, I think last year we were probably about 40 bikes. Which this year, um, Chris has done a phenomenal job of of planning and preparing, and you know she's got this big vision of, you know, and. and the bicycle is kind of like the big item at the raffle, and you know she's got a vision of just having enough to give every kid and, and to bless them with with that big gift. So yeah. uh, every year we get more, and I think we're looking at probably about 70 bikes this year. I My goodness, say, or a little yeah. bit less. Around 55 to 60, 70 bikes. Yeah, quite a Somewhere few. Somewhere there. So yeah, I mean, we keep getting bigger and putting them together. So yeah, it's amazing. Um, yeah. Keith, uh, I, I just wanted to take time as well and thank you for your service as a Marine. And so once a Marine, always a Marine. That's so uh, Semper Fi. And so uh, thank you for being here as well. I, I know that if you didn't mention Chris um, today, I would be in trouble. You would be probably in somewhat of a trouble, but mainly me. Um, so I'm going to ask you a little bit more about Chris and what she does and how she's done a lot in the past here. Um, she's taken on an incredible program. Well, I think 
we came down here and we moved here from in around 2003 from Flagstaff and uh, I did the first year we did a run and, and uh, I kind of screwed it up and everything and was disorganized and all <laughs> Chris saw that and she said well I'll, let's make this work and so she took it on from there roughly around 2004 is when she wow, started and, yeah. and has grown quite a bit since and like he said around 70 bikes or so this year uh, every year it gets a little bit more around 12, 1200 kids uh, they do fundraising just about year round, but the big thing is the uh, Verde, the uh, golf tournament at the end of September. Um, she was, uh, they have something called a local coordinator, I think is what it is, where, so she's in charge of this area and, and uh, she's responsible for everything, everything that takes place. Arizona is part of a region that covers California and Washington, about seven other states, and she was coordinator of the year not last year, but the year before. So that's that's a pretty good uh, award for. Her. And last year she was nominated again, or this year, I'm sorry, she was nominated again for coordinator wow. of the year. So that's a pretty good. She's doing a pretty good job. You guys both, um, you're involved in so many different things. I'm amazed. Uh, you know, you guys yeah. keep on going like you're going. Uh, man, you guys don't stop. Um, and I see you once, usually once a week, uh, with the, uh, um, the Military Service Park program. We have a huge group of, of individuals working in that. Yeah. Um, and then with Chris and you and Troy and your wife, Troy, uh, you know, everybody working together and then the fire department people, this thing comes off really well. Yeah. And, um, and how many people, how many kids did you say that, you know, you normally do? Around 1,200 kids. 1,200 kids. Throughout the valley. Yeah, I mean, throughout. So that's, that's Cottonwood, true. Clarkdale, Cornville, Camp yeah. Verde, you know, so all of yeah. the Verde Valley area. Everything but Sonoma. So now, are you currently accepting donations to the Toys for Tots program at yeah. this time? Yes. We have a, if you can show, we have a website. And that website is cottonwood-az.toysfortots.org or you can email Verde Valley Toys for Tots at gmail.com. So it's right on there on your screen as well, cottonwood-az.toysfortots.org. Um, the other thing you can do, and I know that, um, you know, if you plan on donating, uh, you can actually go right on their website as well as you, all, yes. all you gotta do is just, you know, punch in Toys for Tots right on your computer, it comes right up. You can actually make a donation right online as well to their national organization too. We would uh, we would hope that you would do it here locally because it affects the local children. And again, I was reading something here um, uh, earlier this morning that you know um, uh, we all remember what it was like you know growing up and getting presents as children, and it meant. Um, meant everything on Christmas Day. Yeah. And I can't imagine what it would have been like if I hadn't received anything. Right. And so uh, you guys bless a lot of children. So try to keep it here in the valley as much as you can and uh, help us out, help, help you guys out, help the 1,200 or 1,300 children that we uh, we give toys to here locally. Um, keep, um, you, you know, I, and I know, I know you've talked a little bit about Toys for Tots. I wanted to, to identify something. People always ask, and I know that, that Toys for Tots is a big 501c3 organization, but this is incredible. It's, it's exemplary. Um, they are one of the top 10 uh, as it pertains to giving organizations in the nation. But they, they actually have for, for um, when you give money or whatever, 97.4% of that goes towards programming. 97.4% towards programming. 2.2% goes to fundraising and 0.40% goes to overhead. That's it. Everything is, is volunteered, donated through the Marine Corps um, uh, uh, Reserve and the, the, uh, the people who enjoy doing this. So um, incredible program. I just can't, uh, I'm, I'm just amazed at it. So, um, so give this year to this program, it's just awesome. Um, Keith, tell us, uh, you know, this is a Marine Corps sponsored program. We talked about that 501c3 uh, with the IRS Foundation provides the funding and support needed for successful annual toy dr drives and the distribution. Um, can you give us a little bit of information as it pertains to, um, uh, I guess, the sponsors to the program? Sure. It's a national if, I guess you could say international program. We have anything like Hasbro, Hess, uh, Toys R Us, BMW. <laughs> I mean, there's about four pages of it. Goodyear Tire, uh, eBay. These are companies that all donate large quantities of money to the uh, and toys to the to the uh, 
to the program. And in addition, when they give toys, then those toys come back, and we've got some of the toys that here that get distributed to us it, it, it's that we can hand out. Kenny, uh, and locally, uh, Kroger, y'all go to shop at Fry's, right, well, here's Kroger, and they're one of the major, so every time you buy some groceries, you're, you're helping Toys for Tots, too. Locally, we have Larry Green, Laser Light, uh, Verde Santa Fe Golf Course, River's Edge downtown, uh, 928 Signs, and other many, many, many smaller companies that have a, uh, help us out throughout the year. But those are some of the major ones that have helped out. So if, they, um, if, if people in the future wanted to give to this program and be sponsors, um, they would then contact um, uh, that, the, the basic website web page, et cetera, or they the could email, contact. Or the email, the email. And, and the, yep, and, and the matter of fact, yeah, it, and we can take the checks, and, we, and if you make, if you do a check, you have to make sure it goes to Toys for Tots. There you go. Because we don't want anything personal in it. And, That's right. And, uh, and it all goes to Toys for Tots, and then we get the money back uh, with a debit card, basically. So it, all of it stays in the valley, too. All the, everything that comes in stays in the valley. It's uh, it's amazing. I know. Um, uh, I I checked um, uh, through real quick. Also, this is uh, Josh Groban. Uh, his Find Your Light uh, Foundation supports an incredible amount. Also, so if you know Josh Groban and uh, you love his his music, uh, that's who also support. This is his ninth year, and uh, his program is supporting. And uh, pretty amazing uh, how many um, national figures actually support the Toys for Tots program. Uh, we're going to take another break here. Um, and uh, we'll be coming back for our third segment. We'll be talking with Troy, Captain uh, Troy Hoke with the uh, uh, Cottonwood Fire Department, get a little bit more information and perspective from the fire department standpoint on Toys for Tots. Um, come right back. Um, I'm Richard Faust, your host today with Inside Cottonwood. Thank you for joining us. Let me ask you a question. When you think of the American Legion, what comes to mind? Is it our assistance programs that help the spouses and children of our fallen soldiers keep food on the table? I'm working to help the families of our fallen soldiers know that they are supported and taken care of. I am the American Legion. For nearly 100 years, the American Legion has been our nation's leading advocate for veterans and their families. I am the American Legion. This is today's American Legion. To learn more, visit legion.org. When I was in foster care, I never knew when I would have to move. So I always had my suitcase ready to go. Then one day, I was adopted. My new parents opened their hearts and home to me. My parents cook my favorite breakfast for me every morning. My parents take me on trips I never thought I would go on. They gave me a home and an even better reason to use that suitcase. My parents aren't perfect, but they're perfect for me. Welcome back to uh, Inside Cottonwood for our third and final segment. I'll be talking with Troy Hoke. I'm your uh, your host today, Richard Faust, Community Services General Manager. And Captain Troy, uh, thanks again for being here with us. Also, Thank as we back. start things out here, um, tell us a bit about the Cottonwood Fire Department's mission in our community. Uh, and does this mission intertwine with programs like Toys for Tots? We talked a little bit about that, but I wanted to throw that question back out there to you. Yeah. Uh, the fire department's mission is pretty much just taking care of our community, being there in time of need, uh, whether it be an emergency or, or anything that you may need. Uh, like you said earlier about doing car seats, making sure that you know if there's a child in, in our community that's driving through the streets, we'll make sure they're properly outfitted in the proper car seat, uh, making sure you're safe at your house, doing fire inspections on your home, uh, and let alone helping out organizations provide uh, Christmas for kids. Yeah. I've heard, you know, I, um, Troy, I've heard so many people, um, especially women, indicate directly to me, I didn't know that I was buckling my child in wrong um, and didn't know until I, you know, contacted the fire department and went through their program or just had gone over and asked them, uh, you know, how am, I, how am I doing this or whatever. So I challenge, you know, moms and dads, you know, to come by and talk with you guys if necessary. Um, you're right on 6th Street. It's real easy to find at the public uh, uh, safety building right there. And they can definitely do so and find out how to buckle their children in properly. Yes, Monday through Friday, 
eight to five, swing on by, and there's always somebody there to be able to help them out. Okay, so as we talk about the the um, <clears throat> pardon me, the Toys for Tots campaign and program, um, how does Cottonwood Fire Department fit into all this? I know we were we were just talking. Uh, you know, you guys are like Santa's helpers. I mean, you guys are actually the the the, the elves because you're putting everything together. What takes place during that? Well. <clears throat> Started back in 2004 with the fire department getting involved. Uh, my wife met Chris and Keith, and uh, she asked Amy to make a phone call about having an apparatus at the the toy drive that we do annually, which we're going to be doing this Sunday um, at Walmart. And then we, uh, I showed up, and then just I really enjoyed the program and, and got more involved. And uh, as the fire department, I think there's just great individuals at all fire departments that just want to give and help and. Uh, they know that this time of year to have their cell phones on them because uh, a delivery might show up in the middle of the night and we have to unload books yeah, all night that's long. That's great. <laughs> so, um, but, so it goes from anything, like I said, being, uh, we've already uh, moved toys around, starting to get ready. Uh, so guys are moving bikes from where we keep them stored at to the fire station right now, which we are starting to put bikes together right now. That's great. And then uh, pretty much all next week, um, guys, when they have time available, they'll go down and help sort and start getting ready to put stuff in age groups. That's and that's awesome. pretty much, I think, the biggest thing is just being kind of the, the grunts, like you said earlier, you know, the lifters and moving right. stuff around and, and just keeping stuff going as fast as possible, getting ready. So you were indicating that in reality, fire departments throughout the nation get involved. Um, I think it's just based upon where I know that, you know, I think just that firefighters in general, wherever they can go, it's just kind of the... It's something you know, that they actually the, do. Yeah, yeah, hopefully it's, you know, the, the nature of, yeah. of us, so... It is, it's service, and uh, it's it's neat seeing the, the guys in uniform, um, whether they be the Marine Corps, um, or whether it be the fire department, uh, you guys are there, and uh, so it's really kind of a, yeah. a fantastic thing to see both of you guys working together, both organizations. Um, so uh, the lead time, um, now you're talking about actually receiving stuff now, um, mm -hmm. What is kind of some of the lead time? Uh, you know, do you guys actually start getting stuff in, in October, November, or how does that work? Yeah, usually around October is when we'll start uh, getting stuff like uh, Keith had mentioned earlier, uh, district will send toys. And then uh, we go do a shopping trip where we'll go ahead and try to supply the rest of the toys. But pretty much October to December, um, you're pretty much collecting and, and purchasing toys for, for right. the party. Well, and I and I, um, I think uh, recently you guys had an open house, and I was able to to get over there real quick, and you know see you guys all serving the public, and so many of you guys were serving. There were, uh, you know, I, the chief was cooking behind, uh, um, you know, with hamburgers and dogs and everything, you know, hot dogs and everything, and so it was it was kind of a neat thing to see. Um, you guys just do a lot within community, and I, it's got to be a satisfying thing. The satisfaction in that context of things, serving the community is a, is a big thing, but it's also a big challenge for you guys, too. Yeah. I think that it's, it helps us out because sometimes, you know, when we go to somebody's 911 emergency, they're not having the best day of their life. That's right. So doing this stuff, cooking a hamburger for somebody and, and putting a smile on their face is, is different than when we normally see people. So right. it, it, it gives us a good balance. So tell us about what your wife um, does during this as well. Um, I know she's a, a great advocate. And again, like <laughs> 2004 with Chris, um, you know, with her getting out there and stuff and advocating for this has been an incredible program. Yeah, um, she's pretty much right there with Chris. Uh, Chris, whenever she needs something, I think that uh, Amy's kind of the one that she's able to, to lean on for support and then uh, they're both pretty good about ordering us what to do and, and keep us in line. So, as long as they have Starbucks. But, <laughs> but Amy, Amy, just somebody, boy, she just 100%. She she's, she's there any, her. any time of the day or evening or whatever. Yeah, she's there to to help. Same with Troy. It wouldn't be the success it is without those two folks. Yeah, that's great to see. Well, I'm glad to see the interchange as well that goes on between you guys and your your wives. Uh, it's a tremendous program. Um, and I, I guess um, in, in any way, shape, or form, is, uh, is Cottonwood Police Department involved in this program too? Yes. They, they have, yeah. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, several of them um, are being are Marines, and they've uh, been able to still fit in their oh wow their dress. So okay. they'll, they'll put their their uniforms on, and they'll they'll sometimes uh, during our toy drive, we'll stand post at a box at Walmart. So um, they've helped out several times in that way, and then. Uh, they get involved anytime I ask. They help us with the toy drive, and 
you might, I might add that they, if anybody doesn't have online access, um, you might go to the Cottonwood Police Department. They have the forms necessary to fill out for to apply for uh, toys, and uh, just go to Cottonwood PD and they'll take care of you there. They also have a box, a collection box, and all right. And uh, yeah, did, like he said, this sat, this Sunday we have this toy drive from uh, what is it noon to four I think or noon to four, noon to four at, at the, and they'll have a police vehicle there and, and there'll be some policemen around and and they're they're a help too yeah they, they, they could, uh, yeah they're, they're more good. in the background but they're there if we need them and, and uh, yeah, they're a big help too. That's great. Um, Keith, uh, tell me um, uh, before we close for the day, I know there were some, um, uh, we were talking <laughs> during one of the break sessions about some a little bit of a change um, on one of the scheduling time frames. Can you go over those scheduled time frames for us? Well, we've got, we've got two parties coming up. Uh, Toys for Tots Christmas parties, at two of them at the Cottonwood Recreation Center, uh, Friday, December 18th. I think the first one is at around noon to two, and the second one is 2.30 to four. And the uh, invitations that people have gotten uh, tells them which party they're supposed to be attending, whether it's at noon or at, at four. And then there's a third party at uh, Camp Verde Recreation Center Saturday, yep, and that's at what time, one to four or something like that? Yes. One to four, and, and uh, so Santa Claus will be at all three parties. Uh, we'll have some refreshments at all three parties. There'll be raffle at all three parties with bikes and high-end toys and teddy bears and things like that for the kids and and uh, s some hot chocolate cookies and lots of cookies. And lots of cookies, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, so you know, it, but it's by invitation only. Right. And if you don't have an invitation, you have to, you have to sign up. That's right, it is invitation list. only, and, and signing up is definitely a prerequisite. Yep. So you've correct. got to remember that. And um, so, go, uh, Troy, go ahead. So real quick, I just want to say, you know, you thanked us. I want to thank you as, as behalf of the Recreation Center that without that location yeah. and without the ability to do the parties there, I mean, the ability to, to separate parties as we've grown, the location there and having the conference rooms to separate the parties has been tremendous oh, and yeah. it's helping make it a success and the, and the work that you're meeting with Ryan earlier to go ahead That's and lay the layout. So I definitely, you know, when they say the village community, um, you know, the rec center helping us is it, just all coincides it's, it's to, working to equal together. success. Exactly. Oh, it's so, working together to help families so and kids. Just the yeah. people in the That's community and, and using the facilities that we have in the community to make make programs successful is just awesome. So it's, a, it's great to be a part of it That's and to good. work for the city, so. Thank you, Troy, uh, very much so. Um, as we close today, Keith Vogler, thank you very much. Thank you and Chris and, um, you know, for your, all of you, what you do. Uh, Troy, thank you so much again and the fire department for what you guys all do and Amy and, you know, it's just been, an, it's an incredible opportunity as well as a program. Um, get involved if you can. Um, thank you for joining us for Inside Cottonwood. I'm Richard Faust, your host today and um, enjoy the, uh, the, the Christmas atmosphere. Uh, Merry Christmas and happy holidays to everyone. Thank you again.